break real quick? What? You want to break so I can see the lights? Let's check it out. Yeah, we're good. We're great. How you feeling, boys? Morning. Rise and shine, amigo. All right. We are loaded up, heading to Ohio. Just gotta button down a few more hatches. We got the ATVs, all the gear loaded up. And we're about to head out. All we gotta do is pick up Dylan's dad, grab a little gas, and hit the road. We're excited for this one. We'll see you guys on the road, and then we'll eventually see you in Ohio. Let's get after it. into the southern Ohio camp about two hours ago. Got our stuff unpacked, shot a couple arrows, and we're feeling super good. This is our first sit. There's gonna be a good front of rain coming in, so we're actually sitting in this pretty awesome 360 blind. It's uh, gonna keep us out of the elements, and the best part about Ohio is that you can actually bait. So we've got a corn pile set up at about 30 yards and uh, just in some really thick cedars here. We can see about 30 yards in every direction, but it's a super calm night. It's pretty warm out actually. And we got a cold front coming in starting tomorrow. So I'm not really having high expectations for tonight with it being so warm, but with a cold front coming in, I'm, I've got some high expectations for this week. We've got Dill and Jack set up on the other side of the property, both in box blinds too. So we're just gonna see what tonight brings, but we're super excited to be here. It was a good drive down and now we're ready to get hunting. So we're locked and loaded. G's a cameraman for me tonight and uh, I get to be behind the bow. So everybody has a buck and a doe tag. And there's a couple good bucks on camera around here. So looking forward to it, really excited. And we'll keep you guys tuned for the whole thing. So let's see what we can get done. Southern Ohio, let's do it baby. run by very high alert 25 yards away three minutes later five minutes later three dogs hot on the trail hopefully they don't blow it all out Well, 
It is October 30th. It is our first morning sit here in Southern Ohio. We're back in that same box blind we hunted last night. We didn't end up seeing any deer last night, but it started to rain pretty good. Now the rain is just starting to lighten up a bit. There's just a light west to northwest wind going on. Pressure's slowly rising between today and tomorrow, and the cold front is gonna be coming in um, starting tonight. So we're gonna do a little scouting and um, find an area for tonight. Plus, without it raining tonight, we wanna get up in a tree stand. We are uh, getting excited for it. It's good to be down here, have some camaraderie with the boys, and uh, we'll see what we can do. We'll keep you guys tuned. <laughs> I think I'm probably gonna back up and head on out. It's been stopped right here for about 20 minutes. As soon as I stopped, my dad saw a deer on top of the ridge, a little buck. Got these dogs terrorizing us. Yesterday we had a couple black labs and a shepherd on deer off my dad on top of the ridge. Today, Giuseppe and Jake had dogs running around them. Hopefully they move out. Frustrating, but you can't really control it. So. I'm gonna skirt out of here, probably go work over to Creek Bottom and that little cedar bedding area and see if I can't find a good spot to sit up here this afternoon and cross our fingers for big deer and no dogs. We're out here doing a little scouting and uh, just came up on top of this ridge to a little bench area, a little opening and there's actually a couple scrapes here, there's a little one there. A little bit better one there. Um, we might actually have had some action in it this morning. Pretty tore up right here, right there. Rub going up. A couple of rubs on those trees. So I think what I'm gonna do is set a camera on the scrape and over this little opening to see what kind of action we're gonna get on it. Oh, I forgot to mention, the lions are on tonight, so when we do get back to camp and hopefully are done gutting and processing a deer, getting it hanging, we get the lions to watch against the raiders, so let's hope for a lions win this Monday night.
Well, it is Halloween afternoon. It is our third afternoon sit here in Ohio. Just got set up about 30 minutes ago. We got in here pretty early this afternoon. So I was up in the tree by about three o'clock. And actually, as I was getting everything set up, a little spike walked through and came to about 15 yards, but I didn't even have my camera set up yet. So we got a good three, maybe a little more than three hours until it gets dark tonight. But I'm optimistic that we're going to see some deer and hopefully see the right one. So Dylan is set up in the same stand that he was this morning and last night. And he had quite a bit of activity this morning. Jack is set up in a stand that he had a lot of activity this morning. So I'm hoping that somebody in our group can get it done. And then Giuseppe sitting on the opposite side of this ridge from me about 600 yards from me, maybe so. Hopefully we see a lot of deer tonight. Hope the other boys are all set, ready to go. And uh, maybe we can put something in the dirt. So we keep you guys tuned for it. Happy Halloween, October 31st. Let's get it done. It is a little after 10 o'clock. Um, shot two does this morning, maybe three, I can't tell. They're all back behind me. So I'm gonna jump down here, pull a saddle, pull on the sticks, and then go look maybe on this ridge, on the next point, and then maybe up top. We were at the halfway point this morning and we haven't seen a shooter. So we're gonna do some changes. We're gonna get searching and bring you guys along the way.
All right, well, just got set up for the evening hunt on November 1st. I'm doing a hanging hunt in a, a brand new spot. I'm sitting right along this creek bottom here um, that we have kind of in, in the bowl between ridges. Giuseppe saw um, a 10 pointer out in a pasture next to this last night. And so we kind of made the decision that he was going to sit that side of the pasture and he's actually going to sit with a decoy. So he's got the decoy set up in front of him and then I'm sitting this side of the pasture. And when I came in earlier today to set up around like 11 o'clock, I no more than got my stuff to the base of the tree, heard a crunch and looked over and that 10 point was at maybe 50 yards and he walked right on the other side of this creek bottom over here. So he went up the ridge, raked a tree, came back down, walked at about 30 yards where I could have shot him. And me being an idiot, I left my bow at the truck to hang this set, so. That one stings a bit, but my hopes is that he's just bedded maybe 100, 200 yards up here to the southeast of me and that he makes either that cruiser comes out to this alfalfa field in front of me gives me a shot he's a very nice deer probably a 140 150 10 pointer so we keep you guys tuned but it is sweet november baby november 1st hopefully somebody can close the deal tonight jack is sitting up on top of the northernmost ridge dylan's down in a plateau on the south ridge giuseppe is in that other pasture field over here to the north of me so all spread out different kind of tactics we've got two full days after today left so we're kind of throwing all the onions at them today but we'll see if we can make it happen i'll keep you guys tuned for all of it
I can't believe he didn't even respond to the grunt call at all. He kind of looked, but I don't know. Maybe he'll come, come back. Oh, shoot. He's chasing a doe. Oh my gosh. I thought I was going to get a chance there for a second. nice buck. It's probably a 100, 120 inch deer. Man, he never stopped. He's at 28 yards right there. Oh, man. Oh, I think we're in a good spot, though. Oh, my gosh. I thought he was going to chase her right here. She's a hot doe or what? But either way, that was awesome. Maybe he'll bring the bigger one because that is not the buck I saw earlier. The other one is bigger. I just need to calm down and see if they come back. Yeah, I gotta get that under control. That's going to just about be a wrap for tonight. It was so close to happening, but I'm gonna climb down here in a second. And anyways, awesome night. We'll be right back here in the morning.